Coming up after the break on Mobile Rolling, he's arguably one of the best rangemen in Australia. That shortly. I'd like to introduce you to a man who is regarded to this day as one of the best rangemen to, uh, to ever get in the sulky, and his name is Ronnie Vole. Ronnie, welcome. How are you? All right. All right. Yeah, we, I've just realised we look very similar. You're, I, I'm wearing the same sort of top as you, a lovely cardigan, and you got dressed up for this, which is wonderful. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. How did you start? How did, how, how, where did it all start for you? Uh, Victoria Park race course when uh, I used to go walk go through to, to school I ride my bike and the, all the trotters were there the girls were there in the morning when I'd go and come home the trotters would be in Victoria Park there was uh, Herb Tealy Jack Reed Don Parker Cameron at the butcher shop there was you know a lot of horses there and what year was that? How long ago was that? I was about 15. You were 15 and you're almost 90 oh, now? Yeah. So that's 75 years ago. That's right. Wow. There we are. Have you got vivid memories of that? I can remember all about it. Yeah. And what was your attraction, Ron? Why, why I were you just so like the horses. Then I was coming back from Don Parker. I got very friendly with Don Parker. And he used to let me have a drive. And I started driving them. From there, it just kept growing, growing. I go, go, go to Don Parker's weekends and all that sort of thing. And then after uh, Don Parker was went to the southeast, he got a a farm, a soldier farm, so from the war, you know, soldiers get farms. And uh, I started. Working, I was starting to go to Weagle Oval there. Weagle Oval, Weagle yeah. Oval. That was a big trotting place and there was trotters everywhere. I uh, used to go track every morning and Don Parker would be there and I'd drive a horse. And then I I got him a, a bloke called, who was over from Melbourne, Sid Brown. Sid Brown, yeah. Dark Yes was there, Dark Yes. Sid was a big name back then, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He was a big man in Australia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And a uh, good bloke. And Darky was there, and Darky used to guide me a bit. And uh, I just built up from there. I said, oh, Darky got me a job with Harold Hill Canina. Trained about eight horses. I cleaned them up at the show. And then the following Tuesday, there were trots at, where was that meeting? Uh, in Clare? Clare. Clare. Trots okay. Clare. Yeah. And I won the first race I drove in, and the second I had a smash. You know, I was out of action for weeks. So when I had nothing to do, I just caught the train over to Melbourne. Mm. And I went and saw my around Ascot Vale, the blokes I knew, and I was running into Des, Des Rothiger. Ah. Rothick is a very famous name, yeah. isn't it? And anyway, Des said, what are you doing? I said, I... he said, you want a job? I said, my arms. He <laughs> said, they wouldn't stop you driving a tractor. Ah. So that's how I started. And so yeah. do, so you did some driving You did some driving in in Melbourne? For, yeah. For how long, Ron? I was only, sure, you know, I used to drive a second or third start of theirs. Mm. And mm. then I drove for Sid Brown. He used to bring the horses over to Melbourne and they nearly always win too. Mm. And you drove those yeah, mainly? Yeah, yeah. C can you remember, I know it's a long time ago, can you remember the first official drive you had in a, in a race? Yeah. You can. Can you describe that? It was a winner. Yeah. Uh, Alfie Roar. And, and, and can you and remember, how did you feel? Were you apprehensive or nervous? How no, did you no, feel? Because no, no. we, we used to drive in the trials. In the trials, yeah. In the Thebit mm. and under the lights. Mm. And this horse uh, just led one. Where, where, where was that? 
wrong. Can you remember what track that was at? This is Game Derby. Uh, Game Derby. Uh, or Waveville. Oh, my. It might have been Waveville. Might have been Waveville. Yeah. yeah. Could have been Waveville. Yeah. So you led? Led and it won. And it won. Because Waveville was... Oh, well, if you got to the front at Waveville... Yeah, you had a great chance. Yeah, you had a great chance, yeah. So what? how did it make you feel when you were driving? Obviously, this was your great love. How did it make you feel? Were you... I just thought it was good. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I, I drove a lot after that. For old Vic, old Sid Brown was mostly. Mm. But mm. he had a beauty idea of... Every week, most week, going to Melbourne mm. and win the race and come home. <laughs> Is that right? And he had some good horses, obviously, did he? He's a good, good old trainer and good horses. What, was it, in those days, was it a tough life? It still was a tough, it still tough. Still is, yeah. And And back in those days, can you remember how much you'd get for a winner if you drove the winner? How much? Oh, well, it all depends who you were for. Yeah. But, uh, get, you know, let's give you 20 quid. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So how, how, long, how long did it take, Ron, for you to understand that you were really good at this? How long, did, how long did that take? Did you know straight well, away, or did, or was that something that happened? I knew that doing it for a living wasn't, wasn't successful. Mm, mm. I saw, I, it was Kevin Brook, was, was it, was helping the whole sit a bit. Of it. Kevin Brook, who, yeah. who's, who's, who's very synonymous in harness racing in right. South Australia, yeah. And uh, I said to myself, I, I wanted, a, wanted another, something more, this when I get married and that, I'll to yeah. get a house and that. Yeah. So I uh, saw an application for mail officers. For? Mail officers. Ah, okay. And uh, I knew uh, Ted Newbound and a few of the boys worked and they used to say to me, come here. Mm. So I applied for a job and got it. And, and you I, got the job? I got there, stopped there for oh, 30, 40. So you combined both, yeah. Okay. You combined both. Did Without being personal, but did you, was it, was the... Was being a rainsman, <clears throat> was that lucrative for you? I mean, was no, it, was no, it? No, 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 not to live off of it. Or, no. I mean, you, you can be a cheat. <laughs> what were some of the, can you remember some of the, the really good horses well, that you that you drove? Olympic Pool. Which one? Olympic Pool. Olympic Pool, yeah. Who, who trained that? I did. Yeah. I got dead, old Vic Rothing, at least it to me. Mm. And it went from a 28, I don't know what it's called, it went from the lowest class to the top class in one one year. Mm. One around eight, eight, eight or nine at Wavell. Mm. And what was that called again? Olympic Pool. Olympic Pool. What was another one that you can remember that was, I mean, you drove so many, but, and did, did you have, when you were working with Sid, did you have the choice of who you would drive? He, he was. It was, he was fair. He he was, put, but he was still the boss. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Is there a, I, I mean, you know, anyone anyone can sit in a sulky. Any, uh, you know what I mean, with respect. Anyone can sit in a sulky. I mean, not everyone can partake in a race properly. But what, what are the skills do you feel that you had that made you a top rainsman? What were those skills? Well, the horse didn't. Travel well for me. Mm -hmm. Why? Why was that? Why did they I travel well? I would just continue to, you know, I've got to know all the horses, mm -hmm. all the other horses. Yes, yes. Know the form of, of the field that you're in. Know their strengths and weaknesses. I used to go to the trials every, every, mm -hmm. every, because yeah. I used to work night work. Yeah. <laughs> no. But that's interesting you say that because all night. All night. No, knowing the form of the other horses around you, you know their strengths and weaknesses, don't you? Yeah, and drop off and keep going. Yeah, know. yeah, yeah. Um, what other skills do you need? You need strength? A few brains and, <laughs> and, and you, other horses, other horses. Do you need courage? Really? But to yeah. a lot of people though, Ron, I mean, it, it, it can be a dangerous sport, can't it? If you, you've got a luck with you. Yeah. I've had a few heavy falls. Mm. Well, you mentioned one at Clare. Yeah. Um, 
well, I call it uh, rod, rods in this arm, rod in. Mm. But I'm not too bad. I mean, mm. as long as you don't have head falls, you're, you're Yeah, and you, you, I mean, they wear helmets. Um, what can you remember about Wayville? What did you like about Wayville? Well, it was a good track, I reckon it was. Uh, it was probably a bit small, but Melbourne Showgrounds was a bit, no, no, much bigger. Huh? It was similar, wasn't it? It was three furlongs around. And, and I mean, if a race is 1,600 metres these days, if that was held at, at the Melbourne Showgrounds, or um, two, two, it, would be, it would be two or three or four laps, wouldn't it? Yeah. But it, to me, this track, people were close to the track, and you could see this. Mm. You just yell out to you when you get beaten a favourite. You could hear that? You can hear that, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, no, it was a good, it was enjoyable. Were you sad that the the the, the trots went from Waveville to Globe Derby? Oh, not not at the time. I suppose I was very happy about it. new track and mm. everything. Mm. But uh, to me, I I don't know why people wanted the mobile barriers. Yeah, you didn't like the mobile barriers, did you? Well, they, they take a bit of finesse out of it. Mm. Mm. And, uh, That's an interesting point. So, is there a? We spoke about skills earlier. Is there a skill in getting a horse ready at the start and making sure that they go away quickly or don't gallop? I think there is, but yeah, Dick Webster was, was a master. Yes, yes, he was, wasn't he? He was a master. Yeah, and a good bloke. Mm. Uh, and there was all Webbies. They're all, all good rangemen. Mm. Who, who did you? In the latter stages of your career, who did you who did you knock around with? Who did you spend time with? Who who did you respect as a rainsman? Jimmy uh, Jimmy Hurley. Oh Jimmy, yeah, he, yeah. He, he did it hard too. He was mm. always shoeing horses, and mm. I knew him when he was a kid, like in town. Kevin Brook. Well, that Brookie was always mixed up with Kevin. Yeah, like he used to always be with Sid Brown. Yeah, around Sid Brown. But no, all the guests, uh, Normie, Dark, no more. Yeah, they're all good people. Um, and is there is there anyone from the sport that you keep in contact with now? I mean, Billy McNamee. Oh, Billy McNamee, do you? Yeah. Well, of course, Billy was very famous for that uh, that wonderful horse, Uncle Remus. Yeah, he was a good horse. Wasn't he? Yeah. I think Billy just had to sit in the sulky. He didn't have to do much there, did he? Billy... Billy started to sort of help me when he was about 17. He, he still helps me now. <laughs> he comes and helps us. He's me nearly every one, two, a couple of times a week. Does he really? Yeah. But, uh, Are there any other changes that, that you can think of that have happened in the sport that you do or you don't like? Well, there's certainly two things that have changed in sport. There's the mobile barrier mm. and the um, tra bigger tracks. And, and the bigger tracks, yeah, yeah. Well, the tracks are huge now, aren't they? I mean, some, some of them, are, some of them are a kilometre long, so they're leaving the straight yeah. and they don't turn again. It's been good to me. Yeah. Right harness racing. Mm -hmm. mm. I want to it. Have the colours changed? The silks? Have they changed much? No. no. They're a bit more elaborate now, particularly in the US, aren't they? Oh well. You well, know, they got all sorts of things over uh, them. What, what, what were your colours generally? What, what colours did you wear? Mostly all orange. All, all orange. Uh, uh, what is like in the race? Mm. Well, that's easy for the race course. Yeah, but I, but I, I couldn't get that. So I, I had got orange and then a purple. Orange and a purple stripe. Right. Yeah. What colour cap? Orange. Orange. That's good. I'd remember that one. Ron, yeah. thank you. No problem. This has been a pleasure, and I know that I know that a lot of people um, will be will be most pleased to know that you're well, and and that you're and that you're still with us. And I know that uh, everyone um, who who had anything to do with harness racing, whether it be in South Australia or around Australia, um, will agree with me um, when I say that you you were one of the best. Yeah, you, 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 that's, that's okay. And you had one, one heck of a career. It's a long, long time to be doing something. Yeah. Um, but I know you loved it, and oh, uh, and I thank you for it.
Thank you very much, Dad. Thank you, Ron.